Here's your Bible. Chapter 22, verse 16. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto thee these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. Come on, Jesus. We know who you are now. We pull the covers off of Jesus. Come on, sweet Lucifer. Go ahead. So all you Christian motherfuckers. This is, this is Revelations chapter 22, verse 16, where Jesus calls himself the morning star. And all in your dictionaries, you hear the word Lucifer means bright morning star. But of course, your scholar, your Christian scholar will say, well, he's a little deluded. He knows not what he talks about. <laughs> it's written there. You keep telling me to see the word. The word is written, and the word is written specifically, and you have to take each word, and each word is the truth. It's the word of God. So why are you interpreting it? Our uh, giving praises to our ancestors was not worshiping our ancestors. A, a person of higher elevation in science does not worship something that they know they already are. They connect with it. And they form certain rituals that represent the dynamics of that which was the becoming of themselves. So the process of their becoming and the process of the mind of God involving itself and meditating upon that involved self, the process then becomes, in an external form, a ritual that we do. So all ritual of melanated peoples is basically the, the, the ritual of how the mind of God contemplated on itself to create itself. And we go through dance, we go through song, and dance and song essentially is action and the word. And the word was God and the word was with God. It is dynamic. It is prolific. It is also cold. It is also in drawing. So all of the rituals that we did as melanated peoples were to emulate what we knew intrinsically to be our own historicity from the beginning, what that word means, and then how we have sojourned through matter to spiritualize it. And all of the pain and suffering we feel is basically how God feels while it's going through the birthing of its own knowledge of self. Most of the New Age are culture-cidal fascists because they go and they learn from the shamans, they steal from the Native Americans, they go to the Africans and they tell you all about the fact that these little loincloth-wearing people, and they come and they give you these thousand-dollar seminars. <laughs> European man told me, Nothing spiritual ever came out of Europe. He told me that. Nothing spiritual ever came out of Europe. And he was right. He was right. Everything spiritual. That's why the Beatles ran to Maharishnu. Why do you think the Beatles ran to the Maharishi? Because he couldn't find shit in Christianity. Couldn't find shit in Judaism. And they had to kill John because John was getting ready to come out with a whole new movement. When he wrote... That thing. Imagine there's no heaven. <laughs> oh shit. Kill this motherfucker. Quick. Kill him quick. And no religion too. Imagine all the people. You go back and read that. Get that. And they really got to, to Dil uh, Dylan. What's your boy named Dylan? Bob, Bob Dylan? He was taking Lubavitcher lessons around the corner from my old temple. He used to roll up in a Cadillac, a big limousine. He turned you real quick because he, John Lennon, and about two others of the old folks were coming back to do another serious resurgence. Like what Martin Luther King and Malcolm X had done. And they were about to come back because of world hunger. And it was, guess who, that got John into that? Who's he married to? Yoko Ono. Got his spirituality. And the thing about John that I will always appreciate John. Is, I mean, let me think about the Beatles. I can appreciate John because every time, Paul is an asshole. John understood who the darker races were. And in a Playboy, I believe, or a, a what is the other one that was by Guccione? Penthouse. Penthouse. He did one of the most scathing um, revelations about the Beatles. Every one of the songs that they were asking him about, 
He did the black version. He said the black version of them. Remember that one? Uh, she loves you, yeah, yeah. And you know, it goes, whoo. He said, oh, that's little Richard. He went down the whole scale. When, when Rolling Stones and the Beatles came over here and they were mobbed by all these little white girls, they said, what the fuck is all this? And they said, what, 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 all we're doing is copying your black... Well, 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 we learned Muddy Waters, Bo Diddley, Steppenwolf, uh, Steppen, uh, which Aretha, we know. How come you're chasing us down? We're just imitating them. They didn't know about racism. They didn't know about the music industry doing what they did, but John came out and spoke about it. John and his music, when he dropped that whole shit about Imagine, go back and listen to Imagine, and you see why he was killed. 